All right. Uh, so I haven't really played Monster Train in a while. Uh, I guess I got to my 100 and it uh, just never played for a bit, but uh, I felt like playing again today. Nothing special, just a random random. Coming at 25, so let's go. Gotta eat a pretzel. Mmm, that's right. Get those to ears crunched. What do we got here? Wilmington with Crypt Builder and Forgotten Power. That's pretty good. And Preserve Thorns. That looks pretty good to me. This looks pretty good to me. Uh, Strangler over Predator. Yeah. Stitching Awoken for what that's worth. Well, obviously I don't want the moon, so we'll do this. Uh, Channel Heart. I already have payoff for it. We never already got that payoff for it, too. Could just take like a split anvil or something. That's good for that. You got like the split anvil here. Early game is more than taken care of, so why not? Now we have no heal, but I got two crypt builders. So I think I can take this. Put you at the top. Blast you. Do that, and I guess that. Definitely getting that. Mm, I don't think we really need to put a steward in. This will kill it, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Darn it. That's why I didn't play a suit up top. Wanted to be able to blast that guy. Uh, no incant, but we'll just, you know, do it for practice. Oop. All right, blast that. Hit that. Do that. Where's my crit builders? Boom. Sharpen has split anvil synergy, otherwise it's probably a skip. I could take a glimmer for a heal. But without any temples coming up, and you know, just that magic doesn't seem like that good to me. I already have the crypt builders to put plus damage on anyway. So it's either skip or sharpen. Sounds like a skip to me. Offering token. Yep. Makes it even easier to play Crypt Builder now. Now this is not necessarily a combo that's good for doing like uh, Rat Trap. Multi and health. But if I were to do Rat Trap... Guard of the Unnamed is certainly a way to do it. It's something. I don't think I'll do multi, but if I can get like an armor and camp. Alright. No dice, whatever. Alright, we double, double no unit draft, that's unfortunate. It's a 50-50 into a 1 out of 3. Mm, probably was not worth it to do that. Incant up there. Could have just killed that guy. Oh well. Alright, they all die anyway. I think I still want to get my... Uh, incants up here.
boom. We'll just get incants. That is two draws. I think it's worth a divine grasp for that. through that focus growth I like has synergy with split anvil it's a good heal I also like detonation but I think I'd like to put my plus damage on the crit builders it's, detonation does need plus damage in my opinion an MM MM into guard is like maybe something I don't think so, though. So it is patient as well. That's something we need to keep in mind. I mean, I don't know. I don't necessarily need an Awoken unit. Uh, we'd be just looking at flat damage, because, like, double stack has nothing. Consumer move doesn't even ha really have that big of a he help to us, uh, considering we also have Trader's Quill. Surge Stone's also like not that enticing to me since it's like Vine Grass. I kind of want them around. Uh, I don't have a Razor Sharp Edge, and I don't have a Siren, so... Woken units just don't look that good to me. I only have one heal. I think we just go to the right. Okay, uh, none of these are really that good at all. I guess we do Mark of a Champion. It's really not going to give us much damage, though. I guess if I get stuck with... Uh, I mean, we're, we're going to take either Thornlord or Predator. Um, whatever comes up here is what I'm going to take. So either one is not going to leave us with like a lot of base damage. Uh, Conscription Notice really is irrelevant unless I can get specifically a pip upgrade right here. Priory's Cloak could be okay. Cheater's Hand... That looks pretty good to me currently. That sets up Split Anvils. We'll do that. Okay. What do we next to Spike? Double Crypt Builder? Most likely. Unless I want to do Crypt Builder Preserve Thorns, maybe? Hedge my bets? Like... I don't think so. We uh, just go double crypt builder. Now I gotta consume remove target. Might as well have that next turn. This is our main focus here, but we also do need to get our uh, damage up. Hmm. There we go. Gotta save that damage for sure.
Yeah, I think I'd prefer Predator, maybe. Uh, I don't know, though. Without a razor-sharp edge, that's... a little tough. Alright, we had him decently covered, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to need something. Without a razor sharp edge, now I'm kind of wish, wishing I took the uh, the sharpen. Uh, I wouldn't have thought we'd be in a situation like that, but here we are. I don't even know if this is a deck that wants Unleash. Siren's Song could be a patient answer. And if I already got the focus growth... You know, even if I don't get Predator, I could get Quick Tome. Though I suppose that it's not included here means I'm less likely. Roughly only about 20% of the time would I get Quick Tome from here on out. What's the banner coming up? Stygian? Hmm. I think we take this. Patient answer. I think I've... <laughs> Should I submit this one to Dusk? Because I remember... I know a long time ago he said... I'll make Steel Stinger work on any run. I'm thinking about this run. I'm like... It's uh, pretty bad for Steel Stinger. Only one heal offered so far. Two, technically. Hmm. And it's like very anti just everything that we have. I mean, these are horrible choices. I guess we take the guard, because we could self-infuse it. Or... Dude, would this be like... Why, why is Wilting Sapwood 3-pip? I could actually almost take Sapwood here, if it was 2-pip, you know? Because I could... Uh, I could probably justify. I guess I could still take a pip upgrade. I'm thinking like I could run it with the guard infused into it. It'll get hit a lot, especially if I don't end up with Predator. And I'll get a ton of Ember, but like what do I even do with that Ember? You know, I've already got Split Anvil, so. Yeah, it just never makes sense to take this card. I think we could take this in case I brick the. Uh, I mean, am I even taking the Stygian? Banner. I don't, I don't even think I'm taking the Stygian Banner. I think we're just settling for this, and, uh... Man, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Do Ember or Draw. I think we still do Draw for now. Don't have a huge reason to go Ember... I mean, if I go Hellvent, is it just Hellvent the Offering Token? Because the Merchant of Steel doesn't really have much other than Armor Incant that I'd be interested in. But the Vortex is probably better than the Hellvent. And there's a chance I could get, like, a Siren of the Sea would be, like, the only thing I'd really want from the Guard. Even that is, like, iffy. It can make life easier, though. I mean, that would be better in the event that I get Predator. Because Predator is going to be very slow scaling with Root Seeds as its only option. Um, I think we'll be fine with Predator, though. I don't know. Let's 
Let's go for a chance at Siren. I think we got an awkward run if we don't get Siren. It was like a pretty uh, not blessed seed. Look at, if you look at the start of the seed and you're like, wow, this is pretty blessed. Not anymore. 10 and minus 2. Definitely doing the pierce. I think I, could, I would actually hell vent. Crypt Builder piercing is probably what I would hell vent. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Could also just put the sentry in. I think we're taking the siren. Like I can make that work. That gives me man, I should okay, I should have checked the frickin' I never do this, but check the champ thing first, because then I would have known. If I go in camp, I'd probably want the sentry. But if I go as predator, I definitely want the uh, siren. Well, in either case, siren, just because I, I think if I get in camp, we're fine. And we're, let's just see. Okay, we get Predator. I'm glad we got that then. So, we'll just have to get rid of the uh, other guard. But this we do now. I don't have to do it now, but I might as well. We're going pretty big on shards here. Uh, it's better if I go the other way, though. Let me think about this. Like, do I have any steals that are easy to hit? That one sucks. That one kind of sucks. The final one sucks. So we're probably not hitting any more steals. I probably should just do this then. It just sucks because it's only one in one rage on incant versus two. Whereas, like, I could get two armor versus three. You know? But. Or just, I guess we'll just. Since the steals are so bad here, I think we just settle this way. So we'll go this into this. Just live with the one, uh, the one rage. And definitely still doing that. Don't think we need minus two, given that we have the uh, thing. All right. Oh, this is not who we want to see on high shards. Well, we're going to have to... It's the easy, the easy thing, at least. So we'll do this. Hopefully we start with the uh, right unit. We do. That's good. All right, you go here. That's a little awkward, but I'll take it. Serious, dude. You really gonna throw that one away? We're not on speaking terms anymore for gun power. That shit ain't cool. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Man. Like, what is your problem? Why would you do that? Nah, let's do this. I was going to like maybe put the steward up top. Wow.
Not the greatest sign that it's kind of close to the wire there. I, I don't know. I'm not, like, feeling that confident. Hopefully I don't, like, blow my streak here on this run. Okay, this is fine. There might be some use cases for that. Hmm. Restoring retreat's interesting. That means I could dupe the unit and get a lot of... Uh, It's a soft counter to patient. Also means for the other, you know, patient I set up top, every other fight I probably set up bottom. And then I can eventually get another unit down there and get more incants, which helps with Relentless, helps with Wave Clear. The other two are just horrible cards. I mean, these are all horrible cards, but Restoring Retreat, not so horrible in this situation. Yeah, we'll take it. I think it gives me at least something to do. Uh, Guardian Stone. I mean, I could take it with the intent to restoring retreat it. That just helps me with Relentless. Or I could take an Ice Storm, which is probably better. It's another... It's a great thing to put damage into and stuff. Alright, Surge Stone. I could Surge Stone one of the Vine Grasps at this point. Consumer move. We know that. Well, that's probably going on. You know what? Spell chain and intrinsic. All right. Obviously, pyre health. We don't care about. This steals like maybe hittable. I don't know though. I give up a horde and a helmet. And I'm gonna consume remove the Nexus Spike. Seems iffy. But then I could Hellvent the unit. I don't know, I'd really like to Hellvent the spell. It's 25 bucks, baby. Brick City. Alright, you get removed. But I think we'll bring you back to two? I don't know. I have three Crypt Builders at the moment. I could resurge it. <laughs> I think Surge Stone that, actually, instead of the uh, Grasp. I don't need... If I'm, if I'm going to Hellvent the Nexus Spike... I think we hold the slot for, like, maybe some damage. Ideally temple damage, but we got two temples coming up, but we got a Merchant of Magic. Yeah, I don't know. Let's make this one one. I don't want too much stuff at two and three. I was hoping for a holdover in the offering token. Um, I could... Yeah, not really any good permafrosts, other than restoring retreat, but I already have permafrost with the, um... Cheater's hand. I could make it zero, just so it's, like, always playable, but I don't think I like that. I don't really need to do cost reduction. I don't know. Got so much money and not a lot to do with it. Well, we definitely don't want the stewards, so that needs to come out. I'm only... I, I may not hit another Vortex, so I could just remove... Stewards now. Oh, oh, okay. We remove this. Because I'm just going to hellvent the unit. I don't need, like, the uh, vanilla unit. I'll remove one of these. If it's stealth boss, am I fucked? If I remove these? I don't think it matters too much. I care about spell chain and intrinsic. 
I should have just permafrosted this, not done the thing and then intrinsic it, but it's okay. Okay, I'll tell you what we could do. I could, uh... I could do this. For patient. I still didn't need to do it because I have cheater's hand, but whatever. It's committed now. I don't think I benefit hugely from spell chain other than this if it's held over. Uh, it's probably okay to do this anyway, honestly. Given that I'm going to hellvent that. Now we're at 100 shards. That's fine. We're strangler, we can deal with it. Armor's fine. No real reason to set up bottom here, I don't think. We're not overstacking or anything, so... Plus I can just play this. Turn one and get some extra stuff. If it's Crypt Builder, so be it. Alright, whatever. I'm really trying to get as many incants here as possible, because this boss is no joke. Forgotten Power is definitely off the team, you know? And yeah, I should be removing that shit. All in due time, I suppose. Uh, is that even better than this right now? 110 doesn't necessarily kill, though. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just, uh... This is awkward. Dude, Forgotten Power is, like, such a fucking fail. What is your problem, dude? You got something to say to me, Forgotten Power? Thought we were buds. I defended you how many times, bud? This is the thanks I get? Oh, fuck you very much, that's all I gotta say. Oh, I just realized something. Guard is quick too. <laughs> right. Oh yeah yeah. That that does put a little uh hmm. I mean I guess it's fine. I, my thought was like I would be sweeping before I do my s single strike that has rage. It's actually not the case. Okay, we need an Ember upgrade, it looks like, because I, I just have turns like this where it's like I somehow don't... Any of the plethora or two or threes that I have, it just doesn't give me them. Got to get rid of the Forgun Powers as well. Oh, I didn't do the absolute worst thing possible. Amazing. Something must be bugged. There's a world where I could have uh, Siren Songed. I mean, can I still? It's, uh, what is it? It's like 95, 25, 30. Yeah, that would result in damage. Plus, I guess I just don't want to draw that again. Hmm. I 
guess I'll play it just because. I fucked that up. I missed out on a. Uh... Oh, it's still 50 50. Okay, there we go. Bailed out. Okay, and it's not looking good so far. I'd really not add damage to that ice storm. I could have sworn I did. Alright, well, did I say pyre health doesn't matter? That was a lie. Hey, we're good, though. No problem at all. No problem at all. Uh, invigorating God, this this seed does kind of suck, eh? Like a pretty fucking bad seed. Have to wonder if that silophyte was the proper call, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, invigorating solution. It's not that good. It was an awesome card when it cost to zero normally, but I'm already drawing full hands each turn. It's not really needed. Okay, either Titan's Tooth or Guardian's Amulet. Guardian's Amulet gives me a really good double stack target, of which I currently have none. Because I've already used up the slots in Siren Song. I think I like the Amulet here. Well, definitely going to the right. I don't know, maybe I need health. I just fell. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is just expected values higher on the right here. Okay, Pierce goes either here or here. I think I like it here. I don't know, 30 would be really good too, but in Divinity that would be bad. All the other fights it's pretty good though. I could put Pierce here, but that's like not amazing. Pretty useless on Divinity to have Ice Storm with Pierce and no other form of damage. It's my prime Surge Stone target at the moment, anyway. <sighs> Does so much damage if I do this. I could still, like, use Stings and Vine Grasp here and there to break the... I don't know, I think I think the Pierce is probably better. I'll do the 30 there then, or there. Probably better here. Uh, I should check this first, could have been Lightstone casing. Is Light's gift good? Probably pretty bad into patient. Unless I think I can stack it dazed on patient. I don't have big reasons to think that I should be able to do that. Grindstone's basically nothing though. Does this screw me on patient? Because I think it helps me in the other fights. It just makes me take less damage and could even allow me to Siren Song here and there. And... But I will have a hell of a stack up of melee weakness on patient. Hmm.
give me one second here. All right. Uh, boy, I just don't know. I don't think I'm going to take it. I don't think I can be patient with it. <gasps> I guess this is worth more than 25. Real crap seed safari. Do I help it then? That's a lot of serious. I was going to help at the guard, but now I'm like... Is that even worth it? I don't know. I may need it to beat Fell, honestly. Fell is no joke when for Relentless, so... I think I will. Yep. That's about it. Even the easy Fell. We just have, like, very bad Relentless. It's a pretty good start. I think we want to go two of these and then Wildenton. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm Thorn Lord. Just for the hell of it. first, but whatever. I think we got quite a turn coming up here. I don't know why, but I thought that would kill him. I guess I should have started with that one. That was kind of a waste, whatever. Well, if this is a waste, so we might as well play that. Darn. Forgotten power is uh, definitely not the most valuable here. Second restoring retreat that guy down if need be. I think I'm still taking a ember upgrade. I don't know. There was that one turn that was pretty bad. Alright, for gun power, you're back on the team. Okay, we definitely made the right call duping that. It may even be close here. We'll see. I think we'll have it, though. We want to do as many forgotten powers as possible. Barely. Probably would have killed him on Frost... Well, I probably wouldn't have killed him on Frostbite because he's got the Alabaster Guardians in front. Gosh, this seed is like... damn near taking me out. These are interesting, though. I think... I think Patient is our main concern at this point. Like, I don't think I lose to anything else. 
I can't. How the hell am I going to be patient? If I set up top, I can't run both units. So Ice Empire is a tough one to take, but it's definitely the best card here. I don't know. A deep Offering could be okay. But it's not really good and patient. Like, I'm already having problems with Incant. I really need to get Silence offered pretty soon if, uh... You know, if th that could make patient a lot easier if I could get Silence. But, uh, yeah, we're running out of time to find that. Spreading Spores is interesting. I guess I would put it on, uh... I, I don't think I could ever get enough regen for it to be relevant, honestly. It would, it would be like getting put on Wildenton, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm stuck at 30 health, like... I, I think I take the offering, but I'm... It, it, it definitely with all of these offering cards, this is a good card, so we'll take it. But, I don't know. Not necessarily uh, what I'm looking for. Amber just gives me a little leeway here. Now, I don't know a left or right here. Uh, I got. I really do want to get rid of these Forgotten Powers. They're limiting my incants, and I still want a Hellvent for sure. And uh, I don't know. It's probably the worst artifact combo other than Umbra. Like, we've certainly not gotten very many good artifacts. We've gotten one... We've gotten two good artifacts. We've gotten the Cheater Sand and the Split Anvil. The rest have been pretty useless. Um, and there's still a lot of bad artifacts in the pool. I mean... The trinkets factors into that too, but not as much as the horde. The horde, you know, there's less choices. The trinkets, I get a big choice selection. So, I mean, I'm trying to think like spell weakness would be good, but it's not even that good because again, I'm not setting up top most likely, other than maybe patient. I'm even debating trying to get away with not doing that on patient. I can still daze patient here and there. Hmm. I wish it was like a cavern over here. I would totally do that. I think the only way to cash in on this money is to go left. Plus the vortex is just good. You get 15 health. Doesn't seem great. Okay, this we wanted. We'll take that for sure. Check the middle here. Okay. Um, that... Probably worth putting here still. It's pretty late for it to be that worth, though, honestly. I, I don't know if it's actually worth me doing that now. I, with the Tether Scales, maybe. What about minus two? Is that good on anything? I don't think so. Not, we got the, we took the Ember upgrade and not have to deal with that. I probably will put it on Ice Storm. Then I can put whatever on it. Definitely get rid of the steward and one forgotten power. Let's take a look at what else we got here. I thought I already saw this one. Maybe it was the other spike treasure. Either way, none of them are uh, really doing anything. Um, I guess Gnarled Root could have made spreading spores worth. It's a little late for that. Sap tap is okay. Probably just take it. I mean, I got the one heal. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I mean, it's not even that good considering I have the cheater's hand, but what else, what am I, what else am I going to do? Pretty bad. What else am I going to do, bro? I'm a little worried for ring seven too, so let's get one. Get rid of one of them. Obviously, we go predator two just to make the damage better. But man, who would have known? Like not taking sharpen was such a thing. This is fine. <clears throat> Living armor, thankfully. I don't even think we have to set up bottom here. Might even be like not in our interest to. Uh, I guess we want to. I don't know. We'll set up bottom, I think. 
It's a lot of incoming damage. Fucking. It's the 18 plus. So we're talking 25 plus 18, 30, 43. Fuck. I mean, I can use Vinegrass to bring the other guy forward eventually, but I may not have time for that. I could kill them before I put it down. That's probably smart, right? So we'll go... I'll even do this. We're giving up incants, but it's like... Might as well. Alright, we got the... Foiled by sap tap. Hey, 50-50. Yeah, that was your chance to get back on the team, dude. That was your chance. Alright, stay in the uh, D-League. I guess you didn't come to play. Blast him. Hey, what the hell? I thought we blasted that guy. shutting them anyway, it's just I'm taking collateral damage here. Featuring uh, Arnold. Let's see. Boom. we just keep you in front. Actually, no, because you have more armor, so you go in front. been dealt with. Alright, we, we really want silence to show up here, please. <laughs> Make my life easier. Seed has been hell. Uh, do we want an unleash now that we have sap tap? I'll never be able to build enough regen for awake to be relevant. And I already got enough activators for whatchamacallit. Um, I don't really know that 
this is all that good. I mean, I don't have much health on Wilden Tin or even these guys, really. I mean, they're all about the armor, and I heal them with this anyway, and this is just better. I think it's unfortunately a skip unless I think Preserve Thorns is needed, but even the even that's a little iffy because it... I kind of benefit from hitting Root Seed enough because it's my only way to scale Wilden Tin. And I also kind of need to hit these Crypt Builders somewhat often. So... I don't think... It's like a... It's a skip. Oh, this seed has a redeeming quality, finally. Thank, thank all that is holy. That just made this run so much better. 102, here we come. I was worried. That almost certainly goes on the uh, offering token. Let's take a look in here. Ooh, lightstone casing. Does that change anything about my holdover preferences? Like, would I put it on a Nexus Spike? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure this offering token is by far the best thing I could do. Especially because I'm taking that Kinstone Totem for show. I mean, do I even need it? I don't know. We're taking this. I immediately regret it. Do we care about coals? If I didn't take lightstone casing, does that mean I should not take this? Am I really going to set up bottom on patient now that I have the unnamed tome? I don't know. Maybe I am. Kind of think I am. If that's the case, do we care about concussive coals? It would be good for divinity, like if I'm worried about divinity. Hmm, I think we take it. I'm not happy about it. But I am happy about this. Is there anything else? Pretty sure we take that. I don't think we need to reduce this on anything. I think I want to keep one grasp around to rearrange my shit. I don't think we need this to like remain, so I'll surge that. I don't know about surging the remaining uh, cards. What was the? Was it shit frost? No, it's devil stack. That's a good devil stack. I like it at four too. Now I got a four in the mix. I think that's good. Um, don't need the lightstone casing. If I take kinstone totem, that's what I'm committing to. I really don't think I need it. Maybe if I had consume removed the deep offering, it would make sense. I mean, I know I have this on holdover, but I also am like almost never gonna need that uh, that ember. So I think we just skip. Yeah, these all suck. Fault the alerter at this point is too late. We're just gonna purge then. Get rid of one more of these. Wish I could have got one more out of there. Um Could have it this. I kinda like hellventing this. It's like upgrading my draw while also just making all of these offering cards pretty much automatic. I know we're at Shardville, but what are you going to do? If I Surge Stone, I could Surge Stone this, because it really only needs to get played once, I think, now that I have Silence on Patient. So then we just don't redraw it. I don't know though, it still gives me an immediate draw. So how, what do we got? Two threes, two twos, one four. And another three and another three. 
I don't think any of it particularly matters, but I will make that zero just for the hell of it. And I don't think there's anything else to do. I think we got this. It's not going to be easy, either of these fights, but I think we got it. Patient will be bad if I don't get silence relatively fast. Hmm. Fuck, he starts with a lot of damage. Maybe I should do this then. Roughly a one out of three to draw restore, or a one out of, yeah, one out of three to draw restoring retreat next turn. So it's not in my favor that I draw it. We have to draw at least. And the other option is I could I could play one of these guards middle here. Incant once and they'll survive then maybe patient would go top and then maybe I could get a daze in and we keep that we're gonna do that then no I do Just trying to think. I, I can keep this. I mean, what's the chance that Ice Storm hits Patient five times here? Does it even matter? It doesn't even matter. Yeah, so let's go. Well, I do rally him here. Fuck. Alright, the other option is I put Nameless Siren up top, and I can eventually Restoring Retreat him twice on the way down. I think that's workable. Then I can just, yeah. That's what it's going to have to be. Fuck. It's like the, okay, at least we drew that. What a bastard. What the hell is this, man? As long as Wildenton survives, I can kind of make this work, but man. It's the worst possible situation. Trying to think, should I sap you? I know we'll do this. Seems like the sap is probably wasted, but there's also like no incants down here, so I guess this is fine. This'll go here. That'll go there. I guess we do this. Nah, get more incants this way.
If I draw right into... Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's do this. I was gonna say I could, uh... If I'll draw into Restoring Retreat, I think, so... Or not. Oh shit, I was supposed to use that on my guy. It actually doesn't matter. For now, it's better that I put Wildenton in front, I think. I, I probably want to stack melee weakness on Wildenton. This is like still going to be like relatively awkward to pull off. Come on. With what degree do we think we can, uh... Ensure that we get Vine Grasp at the right time. Like, I may not want to play these. Eh, let's play them. Okay, we'll do this, though. If I can sap them enough, it may not, a lot of this may just not matter. May have to move him forward. We'll see. I mean, I may as well still move him forward. It's only 18. I think that should ensure victory. Yeah, we got him. But since he made our life such hell, we gotta fucking... Man, I thought that was gonna be it, didn't you guys? But unfor unfortunately for Seraph, and fortunately for me, I'm an actual fucking god at this game, so... You know. GG, folks. And I consider the Divinity fight, I hope, to be a victory lap. Hopefully I'm not wrong in that. Can't imagine it would be harder than that, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, for sure we're setting up bottom here, right? Careful here with the incants. Hmm. Well, hello there. We'll give you some armor just in case I don't get restoring retreat. I do get it. Nice. All right, you need to come down immediately. And let's. Save that for the next uh, thing. 
Fine grasp ye fort eventually. Do I risk this? I can't imagine I risk that. I wonder if we even need it for this thing. I could save it for potential scourge shuffler. But nah, I think I think we do this. Then oh, that didn't kill him. No, your silence, so it doesn't matter that much. Let's move you forward for this one. Um, kill that guy so I don't take the damage there. This offering token, though. Deep offering, too. That's some good shit right there. Alright, you are now healed. Unfortunately, we did get this asshole, but that's okay, I guess. We'll blast him just the same. You're almost back on the team for gun power, almost. You won a 50-50, which is, uh, you know, that's pretty good. Hmm, I actually don't think I... Yeah, okay, never mind, I guess we do do that. Let's try to get a better second hit there, but whatever. I don't think we need to shift our guys quite yet. Uh... Tell you what, though, I should have done this. We'll probably still have a chance to blast him here. There's something. Or at least that guy is taken care of. We'll just have to finish that other guy off. <clears throat> I mean, we don't actually care. He'll probably just die. Like, hey, yeah, that could give me a reason to do Siren Song. There we go. Yeah, whatever. It's just... Gotta make sure that that guy doesn't get us. Back off the team. Bastard. I definitely want all my saps to go down here. Alright, fine. If I must. Not sure why that guy didn't get moved by the second crit builder. That doesn't seem correct. But okay. Pretty sure we have this. Things are uh, things are looking okay here. I 
I didn't want to waste that crypt builder there, but whatever. This is not the end. Well, for you it is, my friend. I use that term loosely. What a seed, eh? What a seed. There you have it. Self-infused Guard of the Unnamed Wildenton with Root Seeds as my scaling option. Boom. Tell me that ain't cursed. Or no, not self-infused. I, 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 I correct myself. A Nameless Siren. One Rage per Incant Infusion. My mistake. Clearly it's not cursed. And I took that, that bitch to 180 shards. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. Hard fought, hard fought. Five three one one oh two, baby. I must submit that one. A because I think it was relatively cursed. Who knows? Maybe maybe you go to the uh, the worser nodes. I'm gonna say that there's not that many questionable nodes in that map, but maybe like I feel like it was the value, the expected value was pretty obvious on the nodes. But maybe not. I don't know. There's a few questionable ones. So maybe there's some high rolls everywhere. But I tell you, if you take the route I took, that was a tough one. Yeah, I'll be interested. I'm going to submit that one. Uh, and see how people do. I'm particularly curious if Dusk would run it if he actually takes that Steel Singer. It would actually work out eventually, I think. Because wasn't there a spreading... Oh, spreading spores... I don't know. Is spreading spores even that good with Steel Singer, though? Because it doesn't actually proc the regen other than the once a turn. And then there is, like, three to four heals offered eventually, but none of them are, like... I mean, with a, with a Steel Singer, Unleash Wildwood's pretty good, but it... I wonder if he would take Unleash before that Steel Singer because what was the other choices? It was like what was the rare that I took there instead of I know I was I was almost gonna take Unleash Wildwood on that first one. What are my what are my rares? What did, oh did I, I took Siren Song. I could see him taking Unleash there. I mean the Siren Song was questionable. I took it because of Patient, and it did actually save my ass against Patient, so I think it was fine, but also if he if he can make the Steel Singer work, then that is already an answer to Patient, because it does just fine into Patient. Well, that'll be interesting. I'm going to submit it nonetheless. We'll see how people do. I thought that was a pretty tough run for what I ended up having to go through. Printing feeling locked. You do feel locked into a, the cage with a beast in this one. Will Denver's patient. He had me on the ropes. You know, he blasted my buddy, punched me right in the mouth. You know, I came in with a plan, but as, you know, the great Mike Tyson says, everybody has a plan until patient fucking cuts your friend down in front of you and then gorges you in the stomach with the sword and you're left there bleeding and Wondering if you're going to survive with your 8 HP. Yeah, I, I remember that Mike Tyson quote. Uh, I remember it well. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.